Hiro, there's something I'd like you to take a look at. This notebook right here. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? Because it's yours? I found it in yours the locker room fun. on the second floor. <laughs> if you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. Wizza, wizza, is something wrong? It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. <laughs> this is absolutely my handwriting, without a doubt! Fuck. But how is this... I don't remember ever writing in this thing. No, no way. It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak. The hell? But somehow, you forgot all about it. Lies! It's all one big lie! I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no I explanation for this pocketbook. Dude, and whose pocketbook is that? Dummy! It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories? <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so oh. desperately dark? The mystery's solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here! I was expecting her to continue being the bear, but she just turned into that. Threw me off guard for a second. Alright, let's continue. <laughs> Shit, man! Of school life. I found an angle where my ceiling fan hits me directly. Oh, aren't you lucky? I'm here cooking. How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? And on top of that, something tragically sad happened one year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Right before everyone's eyes, the world came crashing down. You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you'd forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. Oh, and there's one other thing. Oh to be god. Even more precise, Ugh. the memories you all lost were were actually never mind. I'm bored. Explaining stuff is boring. God damn it. What? We are bored of this world. Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do, but then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! What are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair. Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves! I'm sick of expositioning all this shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Figure out... <laughs> what? Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. When our memories can't come apart. She talked about where we must have lost our memories. Didn't he feign the beginning of the game? First entered the school he fainted. Yeah. I got it. I remember. The I lost my memory. I can't think of any time other than that day. That day? Walk right in and then you fall over and fate for two years. When I first came to the gates of this school, I didn't step foot in the main hall. When I passed out, I was overcome with a strange sensation. You got drugged. Wow, you still have enough to keep on talking, huh? <laughs> um, so I don't know much about the details, but it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? And your sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that? I guess it must have been something. After I passed out, I woke up in a classroom with my head on the desk. Yeah, interesting place to wake up. I assume not much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. <laughs> but instead, two whole years had gone by! Jesus. The reason it felt so yep. short was because... Our memories of the time in between had been completely removed? You got it, honey! Two years of memories? <laughs> Gone! Poof. Which means, of course... When everyone met for the first time, 
It wasn't actually for the first time. Mm. Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. Jeez. Yep. You are all That's already friends. Reveal, isn't it? <laughs> yep. That's what they revealed. You were all such close friends. You spent two years together, yep. and then you started killing each other. And it was all so you could escape into a world that's already been annihilated. <laughs> what a terribly tragic tale. Even if you left now, there's nothing you could do to fix it. You're the one who set things up to be like this. Oh. I love you all so much. Okay. What? Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. It's only natural that I would fall in love. So, since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all about it. Okay. All about the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair. Our plan to bring despair to all mankind. The ultimate despair, all mankind. Let's go back in time, two years, okay? Okay. Hey, look, the first thumbnail. Except without all the graffiti and shit I put, put in the background. <laughs> to when everyone first came to this school. School life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. Yippee! Oh boy, it was just the worst! Okay. Everyone was enjoying themselves so much! You were all having the time of your lives! But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. All too soon, the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. Bloody hell! And as you can imagine, the school was no exception. The tragedy even made its way here leading to the extermination of most of the students. Damn. What? There was more students? Are you? Mm-hmm. It was a full uh, school. Oh, well, I guess mean? that makes sense. The most tragic event in human history, and the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say, it was none of those. How can I put it? It was more of an ideological thing. Ideological? Despair is contagious, you know. It's almost like a natural phenomenon. Everyone is capable of it. And now the entire world has fallen into despair. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy is the world itself. I just don't understand why. We didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. Okay, so <laughs> let's get back to the story. Hope's Peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. The members of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy were the only ones left. What? So we were just getting bombed or something? And Students were like killing each other. Super neat happened. Oh. Now pay attention, cause this is important, and I'm only gonna say it once. So guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter. Oh. Uh. That's right. It was transformed into a shelter. Ah, I said it twice. Okay. Now. Someone was responsible for that transformation, for creating what would eventually become your prison. Do any of you know who that might have been? Wouldn't that be the headmaster? Yeah. The prime minister. I got it! It could only have been the headmaster of Hope Peak Academy. Yippee! He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us. 
to protect us from the despair and tragedy taking place outside. That's why he asked us to make that promise. Oh. To say that we were willing to live yep. in the school forever. He didn't want to force you all to stay in here, so he asked all of you if you were willing to do it. We believe he had something like that in mind, yes. If you, the collective hope of a new generation, could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Now, yeah, the headmaster put that much faith in you. And because we had that same hope, that's why we all agreed to live here forever. The dots are connecting. But creating mm -hmm. this shelter was also his single biggest mistake. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Oh, look at that image. <laughs> it's laughable, really. He was the headmaster, but he had no idea. He had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school. So what was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe became a cage that made it impossible for you to escape this. I have to say, it really helped me out a lot. It saved me a ton of time. By the way, it was you yourselves who blocked off the windows, the doors, all the exits. Oh, good. <laughs> we we trapped ourselves in. Under the headmaster's yep. direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. You mean we trapped ourselves in here? And then you forgot all about it and started bitching about how you were trapped in here. <laughs> Once you finished <laughs> building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work. And thus began the killing game. Me and Mukuro had come here, spending the last two years waiting for that moment. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan. And the only reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be a part of it. We could go around killing each other? Is that what you're saying? Why? Why would you do that? Because Fun. this was so much more than a simple high school death match. They did it for the wall. Yeah. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. What are you saying? Well, it would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. So I thought I should show them, which is why I... <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? What the mastermind did to show everyone in the outside world, that was... What did he do? Oh, it's a hangman, okay. Ah! I need four letters. Mm -hmm. H is appearing a lot. Oops. No, now it's a bunch of different letters. Oh, I fucking missed it. What is this word? Remember something we discussed when they found out that the killing game was being broadcast on TV? What did they do to the TV stations? They took over but what's another word? hijack there you go oh my god I hijacked the airwaves give me that J fuck give me that J give me that a what is the spell hey Jack now I understand. anyone named Jack in the chat <laughs> hijack you're talking about you hijacking the airwaves aren't you Woo. uh-huh that's exactly what I'm talking about to show the world the murders taking place at this school, which was meant to be a symbol of hope. That was the whole point of the ultimate despair! When I said climax, that was what I was talking about! Oh. The world watched as you fell into despair and began to kill each other one after another. Despair is as contagious as any disease. Any hope left turns to despair. <laughs> Isn't the power of television just amazing? Wow. TV. By the way, 
since we started broadcasting, a whole bunch of people have tried to come and rescue you. Oh boy. I assume they're dead. Uh, are you serious? But utilizing the heavy weaponry I installed around the school grounds, I had no problem expelling them. Yeah, I think they're dead. <laughs> Expelled them? I have to thank you all. They were a relentless bunch, refusing to give up on hope and trying to force their beliefs on the world. But in the end, I was able to give them the final despair. Death. So you just used us? To bring despair to everyone in the outside world? Well, sure, but I also gave you a second chance at life, right? So it's like, give and take! Give and take? You're so full of shit! Oh my god, that was so violent. And there's a reason mm. I chose you guys to survive when all the other students were dropping like flies! I mean, we built up two years of memories together. You were all my treasured classmates! Sorry, that's a lie. I just figured you'd despair even more when you found out a friend had betrayed you. And that's the truth, which is what you wanted, right? So, does it make you feel utterly lost and hopeless? A little bit. You solved the mystery, mm. but despair at the truth, right? Don't tell me. Did you seriously count on the possibility that we would solve your mystery? And if we did, then what? Our final desire for creating this world of despair was so we could experience one last class trial. If you were bold enough to solve the mystery, only to discover that the truth was utterly hopeless, how would you react? What would you do? I... I... Yeah, I don't know. See? Discovering the truth doesn't necessarily lead to a sense of hope. Truth can be full of despair, too! Like right fucking now! Oh! Truth full of despair. That's... Not to mention, all those motives I talked about were totally meaningless. I mean, with the world having ended and all. Meaningless? Damn. And we... have been murdering each other? For nothing? For nothing! You don't even get the money! And think about it. You chose You'll probably get the money, but there'll be nothing to use then it on. started murdering each other to get out. We weren't just random strangers either. We were classmates. We'd spent two years together. You were friends. Duh. <laughs> no, even I can't laugh at that. <laughs> now, now we know it's serious. Mm -hmm. get it. We get it, okay? You're totally awesome, right? We get it already. Don't help us! I'll do anything! Just help me! <laughs> A peasant begging for his life? Oh, how delightful! We've never witnessed such a travesty firsthand. But I'm sorry to say, begging doesn't work on me. All I want is despair, and there's no reason for it. And since there's no reason, there's no argument against it. There's just no understanding it. No argument, no understanding. What better definition of ultimate despair could there be? Me! Wait, hold on. You've just been going on about whatever you feel like, but but there's no real reason for us to believe anything you have to say. Oh, that's true. Oh, stunned. Huh? You say the world's fallen apart, but I haven't seen it for myself, so I don't acknowledge it. I don't accept it as the truth! I didn't say so it didn't happen. Until you yeah, see pretty it, much. It's <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> the truth yeah. That's my, like my whole my whole life right there. Until you see it with your own eyes, truth and falsehood overlap on it. In other words, you're not unlike Schrodinger's cat right now. Is that what you're saying? If so, what then? What then? Are you saying you won't accept the truth until you can go outside and see for yourself? Well, you better not. You go out into that world and you're all gunners for sure. Trust me, I'm not lying about any of this. Well, even if it's all true, I refuse to give in. I refuse to lose to you. For the sake of everyone you've killed. Huh? Everyone I've killed? What are you talking about? You're the ones who killed them. I didn't kill anyone. 
I simply gave you a little nudge in the right direction. And that's all it took for you to start killing each other. You're nothing but bloodthirsty animals. That's why anyone was murdered here, peasant. Peasant? Say what you want about hope. But we're all creatures of instinct, right? This man comes naturally. Oh, yes! <laughs> that's funny as shit! No! This isn't just some game to us. It's murder! Plain and simple! You stole our memories. Invented reasons for us to do it. You pushed us all into a corner. It's all your fault. I mean, yeah, kind of. You certainly have a talent for passing the buck, don't you? That must be your hope, huh? But we don't have much time left to keep up this banter. We have to draw things to a close soon. What is? Why? What do you mean? I'm talking about the vote, of course. Oh. You didn't forget about that little rule, did you? Oh, and also. Since this will be the last vote, I decided to change the rules. Change the rules? What? You guys so full of hope, and me so full of despair. I've decided to have you vote which one will be punished. If even one of you votes to punish hope, well then... I'll consider that a win for me, and punish everyone on the side of hope. Oh, but don't worry. I won't be voting, of course. Even if you don't, you still got the upper hand in all this. It's okay. Nobody would actually vote to kill themselves, right? I'm confused, but okay. Oh, let me just mention one more thing. When I win to punish you guys, you'll have to stay here till you grow old and die. No fighting, no killing. That's your punishment. Okay. What? You mean we just... We'd have to just live here? She's saying she'll let us live! If you're not happy with that, then go ahead and punish me. Mm. And make your way to the outside world. Enter a world fallen from grace. Ah, Edgar, thanks for your prime. Appreciate it. God, metal pipe. Day. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Yeah. Big reveal already happened. It sure did. Mm -hmm. Enter a world fallen from grays where only despair exists, where you'd likely be dead within a day. There's a lot of information dropped on me, and I'm just like dazed. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? So no matter what, I'm stunned. We'll Wait a sec! I just got hit with an inspiration bomb. Dying of old age is boring as shit, right? The audience at home isn't gonna dig that at all! So, here's what'll happen. One of you will get to experience an instant, super impressive punishment! What? What? You... you can't just... Do you mean to say... you'll execute one of us? And I get to decide... who's gonna have to suck it down! Oh. Makoto! You're up! What? Me? Yeah, you've been acting up, causing all kinds of trouble. I hate you! Oh my god. So let me make this clear. Everyone has two choices in front of them. If a single person votes for Hope to be punished, then only Makoto will receive a harsh punishment, and the rest of you will live here in peace. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. What I'm saying is, if you sacrifice Makoto, the rest of you will get to live out your lives. Oh. <laughs> okay. But that's... What? Has your resolve softened? Have you lost confidence? Are you afraid of being punished? He doesn't want to die. I don't think anyone wants to die. Don't you have faith in your friend? No, not really. No, mm. that's not it. I, I guess it's not it. It's okay. You're right to be afraid. Right to be afraid. It would seem all of those around you have realized the futility of going against me. Hmm. Uh oh. Guys? Oh no. It's so beautiful. 
Your lovely faces, eroded by despair, have come together as one. Besides, Yoko, you could never betray your father, could you? What? I mean, the Headmaster's only wish was that all of you would survive, right? That's why he tried to trap you all here, after all. The least you can do is try to honor your dead father's wishes. <laughs> Kyoko! One person's despair is enough to seal your fate! Isn't that just the most hopeless outcome ever? Oh. So, who do you think's gonna give in? Whose despair is gonna sign your death warrant? No one. Nobody's gonna give in to despair! We're not gonna lose to you! Yeah, get stun locked. Stupid bitch. So boring. Mm. Stubborn until the very end, huh? Well, that's fine. Then let's just hurry up and get it over with. Come it's on, then. It's time for the final vote. Everything will come to an end. Your stupid hope. And your stupid life! Oh. The final vote. This is it, the ultimate confrontation. And the, the chat just went into an ad break, so we're going to wait a minute and 30. Because mm. I'd rather have everyone watch it. Except for Edgar, because he subscribed to Prime and doesn't get ads anymore. Uh. Oh, fuck. So many truths just got dropped. Yep. If you, were, if you told me to recite them, I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> nah, bro, just me. I know. It's just you until 45 seconds from now. Oh, it's so fucking hot in my room, too. I can't wait till this is over. <laughs> just because I get fucking cold air again. Yeah, we're almost done. My hydration supply is running low. Same. Even with my, like, shitty ceiling fan, I'm fucking dying. <laughs> This has been a very nice uh, story. Not nice story. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just dying. I got, <laughs> I got the AC blasting through the whole house. Yeah, lucky you. If I did it, you guys hear fucking constant. Uh, and when we wouldn't want that. And welcome and back, I, everybody. I didn't I continue because I wanted you guys to see the last bit, too. I have to show everyone. Yeah. I have to make them remember. I have to convince them not to give up. To live in despair. That's not really yeah. living at all. Yeah. I'll make your argument. Yeah. Holy shit, what the fuck is this? It is none of those. I... Uh, doesn't... Yeah, let's, that has nothing to do with anything now. We won't give up. Right. Well, that's a long as thing. Long as hope, we'll never give up. If I okay, die, I'm gonna assume it's that. Yeah. That was, that was like in my face. <laughs> it's that. No, it's that one. By the way, the huh. yeah, the, is totally everyone hope. You know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Oh, thanks, physics lab. Lab. Blah, blah. Oh, I see. If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. I think you're chatting shit. Was that you that made that noise, or was that the game? That was the game. Was that her? <laughs> have to go into the world outside, yeah. Where only death and despair are waiting. He's still- he's fucked so, up. His whole family's dead. <laughs> That's that's mm -hmm. you just that's die. goddamn. Is that what you want? Why is yours white? Oh no, I have a bad feeling about that. There's no hope left in the world when you sleep. It's on the bed of despairs. The world's in despair. You are in despair. If I don't do something, everyone's gonna be consumed by despair. You claim there's no hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then there is hope. I use my own hope. I guess that is a, that's the hint. As long as there's hope, give me that. We'll never give, up. give me hope. If I were to die, 
That would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. Hold up! Here's some hope! Don't lose hope now! All my fortune telling senses are telling me not to leave this place. Oh. But to live means moving forward, right? Yep. So even if it's hard, even if we're scared, we don't have any choice, do we? Yep. I want to keep on living. I want to open the next door. Let's go. There must be something new waiting for me. So that's why. That's why. No matter what, I need to get out of here. We gotta get out of here. The whole fortune telling thing doesn't matter anymore. What matters is my own gut feelings. We won't give up. Oh no, I do this again. As long as there's give me that hope. We'll never give up. If I were to die. That would be the end of Hope's Week Academy. I decided to have oh. faith in myself. That's cool. By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. Skip a little bit. Don't give up hope! You gotta wake up! I've been thinking about all this. And I was thinking, at a time like this, what would Sakura do? Kill herself? Oh, I'm kidding. That's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> you only get stronger by taking adversity by the horns. Confront that thorny path with enthusiasm. That sounds like something she'd say, right? No. I think that's definitely what she'd say. Which is why I... I... Yeah! I've made up my mind! Yeah! Don't give up. give up! As long as there's hope... Give me that hope. Never give up. Now we fast forward. We zoom in. Say whatever you want. I've made my decision. If I die, the purifiers will spring other words. As soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Meh. Don't meh. Fucking Don't lose hope get some hope. Get some hope inside you. <laughs> okay. I don't care either way. I'm fine with whichever one is more interesting. Okay. Actually, I may not look like it, but I always hated school. No matter how I look, still hate it. <laughs> oh, but no matter what, Master has to come along with us. Okay. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, give me that. We'll never give up. And now we fa fast forward. By the way, the only reason why is thanks to the air. Say whatever you want. If I die, in other words. As soon as the communal life you've all been living will come I want to hear what to Toko says. Or Genocide Jack, technically. Okay. All of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside. Where only death and despair are waiting. Yeah, yeah. Don't give up. Don't lose I almost down. missed that shot. It looks <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you give up? What's the matter? Oh. You're not actually trying to encourage me, are you? <laughs> Ridiculous. It never even crossed my mind that I might give in to despair. But don't misunderstand me. I couldn't care in the slightest what happens to you. That's fucked up. I just have to keep my word. I swore I would end the life of the Mastermind. Besides, the Togami family isn't dead. Because I'm still alive. I guess it's a good way of putting it. So until mm -hmm. we can restore the Togami family and bring it greater glory than it's ever known. He has to fuck. Well, we what's happening now? As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die. I like the music. I'm just gonna let it run because it it's playing the main dong and rapa theme now. I decided to have faith in myself. Woo, we're by the way, Woo. the air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Say whatever you want. I've made my decision. If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Doggy Rampa. I can keep on living as long as I have my master's love. <gasps> all 
all of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside, where only death and despair are waiting. I already said I would claim the Mastermind's life, by whatever means necessary. So, what are you gonna do? What am I gonna Will do? you just die? Is that what you want? Don't lose hope now! Come on, Kyoko. Wake the fuck up. Break! I didn't really know my father, so I can't pretend to know what he was thinking. But even if we're just connected by blood, there's one thing I am sure of. He would never want us to abandon Makoto and choose to stay here. Yeah. No swearing. Uh oh. Okay. I can't explain why exactly. But if I'm I'll sure of anything, go. yeah, tell it to her, not me. Just because we don't actually know anything, does that mean we can't understand? Could it be that? No. Never mind. So, Makoto. Spit it out, Kyoko. I don't think you wound up at this school because you had good luck or bad luck. I think you came here for a different reason entirely. Oh yeah, what's that? You came here to bring down the ultimate despair. Uh, okay. You came here We're about to, to get Makoto's now, like what up. his ultimate is. Confront the despair without ever giving up. And if that's true, I think we could call you the ultimate hope. Oh, that's what cool. Do you think? Oh, yeah, like, that's what, what like, pretty much that's officially what Makoto's ultimate is. That's cool. What the hell are you? The ultimate hope. So uncool. Your stupid faces, the stupid things you've said, the stupid way you all treat each other. It's all so uncool. So unhip. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh my goodness. Lame, lame, lame. I'm not any kind of elite in anything. Hope isn't a talent you develop, but but still, but I still. Oh, oh fuck! Oh, I fucked. <laughs> oh, I felt that. Oh fuck! I'm not ready for this either. Hold on. After this, you're completely done you with the uh, trial. All just story. So you're unbearable. Hope is a joke. Who are you? Would you like to die? You're gross. Suffer from despair. Everything is pointless. Suffer from despair. I just love despair. Suffer from despair. No, no. Uncool. You dare to stand against us? Help is a joke. Who are you? You're gross. Suffer from despair. I just love despair. You suck. So uncool. You're unbearable. Help is a joke. Who are you? Would you like to die? Oh. Despair into tomorrow. No. Keeps on going. Oh. And for swearing, I'll gift a sub to somebody. So, yeah. I refuse to give up. I refuse That's to give up. That's why officially beaten the game, basically. Away. It's all story. And it had to end with that game I hated. <laughs> now we just finish up the remainder despair. of the story. Woo. Because all I have going for me. Is the desire to keep moving forward. What's going on? What's happening? What's happening? Is it gonna be a full A? No. <laughs> you got a B in the middle, another B. Three B's oh, in it. There's lots of A's. Alright. A. And coins that don't mean anything. Yeah. It looks like we've reached the end. Oh. I think it may be time to vote. We just gotta pull the lever, right? Good. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's put an end to these trials. Put an end to the killing. Yes. With our own hands. 
with our bear fists. You have bear fists? <laughs> You're guilty. The hell? Indeed. Oh, I have to read. Man, I thought it was gonna be voiced. <laughs> You've lost, Junko. I lost? I lost me? No way. Well, it can't be. Uh, um. You still you still don't accept it? <laughs> Even the ultimate despair herself is vulnerable to the onslaught of despair. It would seem. But there's no use trying to fight it now. Well, that's just totally the best. Oh. Huh? So this is despair. We came to the school two years ago, created our incredibly detailed plan. I even killed my own sister for it. And now I... To come this far and fail at the very end? True despair. It's the most ultimately ultimate despair. What are you talking about? And now I... Don't you see? I was so hopelessly desperate, I was bored of the world. The moment I was born. That's why I've been looking forward to this so desperately. This once in a lifetime experience. It is my first and last colossal despair here at the moment of death. To have a chance to taste of the highest grade despair. Utter failure of my dreams. Ooh, despair. Ah, I'm I am so hopelessly happy right now. Huh? Wait, is she enjoying this? Anyway. Anyway, so are you prepared to admit defeat? <laughs> ha ha ha! You think I care whether I won or lost? Either way, it doesn't change that thing! Totally the best. Outside is only despair, inside is only despair. No matter where you go, despair awaits you. That's not true. Not possible. You're wrong. Huh? Don't make me repeat myself. Let me tell you this right now, we no longer fear despair feel okay. despair. Or fear despair, whatever. Because we've decided to enter the outside world with hope. <laughs> Yeah, Makoto totally seduced us over to his side. I don't think that's how that is. <laughs> Everyone. You said that despair is that... You said that despair is a contagious as a dece any disease. But the same is true of hope. All you have to do is look at us to see how true that is. Kyoko. Ah, stop it. Stop. I hate those faces you're making. To see those awful looks causes me nothing but pain. There's one last thing. Fine, let me just say one last thing. If you guys want to get all hung up on the word hope, there's no skin off my nose. But just be warned, from this point on, one despair after another will stand in your way. No matter where you run, no matter where you hide. No matter... Maybe you will find some hope, but there is a very fine line dividing that hope from bitter despair. <laughs> Knowing that, you still plan to cling on to your hope? Of course, because we... Shut up, shut up. That was a rhetorical question. You interrupted my monologue. I'm almost done, though, so whatever. <laughs> because it's almost punishment time, right? Do you really intend to go through with this? <laughs> that was the agreement, right? Uh, hold on. It's not like I want you to die. You don't have to. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! What? How many times do I have to tell you? The act of living brings me no hope at all. <laughs> all I want now is the taste of the sparrow of death. That you only get once in life. So? Don't get in my way! Button bush. <laughs> so this is how the despair of death feels. <gasps> it's so wonderful! Even a tenth of this despair. Even a hundredth. I want every last soul on this planet to taste such despair. I want the entire world to die with that despair in its mouth. Okay, let's do this. I've reserved an extra special punishment for last. Oh? Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! <laughs> She's lost it. <laughs> like she walks with it. Mm -hmm. What is happening? Just the stages for all of them.
The ultimate punishment. The 1,000 blows. The cage of death. The burning of the Vaseline. <laughs> Something witch. And a fire truck, apparently. Excavator. <laughs> what the fuck? Blast off. Bye. After school lesson. Deuces. Oh. Well, snap. In the emergency overdrive. And that's how everything came to an end. The final class trial. Junko, the ultimate despair. Laugh at Life at Hope's Peak Academy. It was all over. Woo! Now I just have the short epilogue. I got her hair ties. Sure, I'll save. But even after saying it was all over, it's not like the building exploded or collapsed in in on itself or anything. That wasn't the kind of ending waiting for us. Nothing changed. Well, with one exception. Uh. The air purifiers turned off, excuse me. Just like Junko said, they shut off immediately. That was the only difference. We gotta get out of here. Goodbye to Spare High School. Oh, I didn't like that. We left the courtroom and made our way to the main hall. We stood in front of the door. Nobody made a sound. I felt almost absent-minded. This was, this was our epilogue before the final ending. We were stuck there in limbo, unmoving, unsure. But in the end... Let's get the fuck out of here. Hey. We can't just stand around like this forever. At some point, we need to leave. To nobody's surprise, it was Kyoko who broke the silence. Makoto. Makoto, would you do the honors? Okay. As if awakened by Kyoko's words, I took out the object we've gotten. Up until the moment of her death, it had belonged to Junko. And in the end, she dropped it before us. So, um... But, is that really it? Is that really the key to this door? Indeed. You don't have to read into what she said too much to find the answer. If... On the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. In other words... I'll force you out. She said that just before dropping that. It makes sense that it would be our way out of here. But... But you never know. Maybe it's actually a switch that's going to make the school self-destruct. I mean, Juko never said specifically that she let us leave here alive. It's true. You may be right about that. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. But even so, it's possible to think we wouldn't take our chances with it. Uh, um. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. If something ever happened to my to master, I'd take my scissors and jam them so far up. Oh. Huh? Where's the courtroom? Where's the mastermind? Oh boy. <sighs> It's all over. We're just about to leave the school. What? L leave? We can go outside? <laughs> then that means me and Master can get me- Oh my god. And then he'll give me a little jewel of a baby. That's enough. Please stop. That would be a great horror than anything I've ever encountered so far. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, don't worry. I have no doubt that we'll be able to leave here without a pl problem. But... If it's what happened after we get out that I'm worried about, <sighs> I can't wait to get gunned down at the door. But you know, in the end, I, I think part of me still stinks. Serious. Maybe when we get out of there, we'll see that everything she said about the world was a lie. That on the other side of the door is a world as peaceful as we remember. A lie, peaceful as we remember. As we remember, 
Well, no matter what it looks like, it's still our world. It's where we're meant to live. Uh, um... Yeah, I guess so. And how do I put this? Unlike this school, the world is really big, right? Since it's so big, I'm sure there must be some despair, no matter what. But there also has to be lots of hope, right? In other words... The act of searching for hope, to try to find it. That by itself is the true meaning of hope. As long as you have the, that hope, you can keep moving forward no matter what trouble you may fall into. Am I wrong? Is that what you mean, Makoto? Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. <laughs> I don't need any of you to spell that out for me. You know, Junko mentioned that there were still others out there who hadn't cast away hope just yet. <laughs> Maybe I should find them and make them work for me. To rebuild the world, we must first rebuild the Tukami dynasty. <laughs> I'll go with you. I'll follow you anywhere you want to go. You got it! Well, my first stop is going to be the closest donut shop. I can figure out the rest from there. Hey. And what are you going to do if there are no more donut shops out or donuts? Okay. I'll just get some flour and make some myself. And and if there's no flour, I'll just grow some wheat. <laughs> ah, I get it now. Hmm. If there's no road, you just got to build one. Creation, fate is telling me to remake the world. Could it be? That's my hope. How about that? I've reached the next stage. The next chapter of Yashihiro... A hero's life story is about to begin. Whoa! Thanks, Hina. You've totally opened my eyes. Oh! Hey, personal space buddy, you're seriously creeping me out. Makoto. Come on, Makoto. Even if everyone in the outside world is gone, even if the world is steeped in despair, <laughs> as long as I have people like you around, I can face the forward and keep moving. If we can get out there and do something, have some sort of impact, well, what can we do? There's so few of us, and we're so small. What can we do? No, we can probably do anything. Yeah, we can do anything. Yeah. Well, I guess this is goodbye. And goodbye to Sakura. But hey, if we gotta say goodbye, we may as well do it with a smile on our face. Hey guys! You guys want your fortunes told anywhere, anytime. You just let me know. I'll be there. You know how much I hate being annoyed, but if something does come up, you may as well let me know. I can't guarantee I'll actually bother listening, but, you know. I don't know why, but I have a burning desire to start writing. I might be able to pull it off. A story about Master and me, and the others, I guess. Yeah. I can't say I'm sorry about what happened, but still, it does feel kind of strange. I really don't know what to say. I guess we graduated? Congratulations. Push the button. It looks like hope really is spreading. As long as I never give up, I have to push even harder. I'm gonna keep moving forward with hope in my heart. Since I have hope, I can show courage. Since I have hope, I can move ahead. The world, I can move, can move ahead. Well... The door began to open. With my hands, with our hands. Hope and despair mingled together, opening the door to the future. Oh, I don't like that noise. Flashbang through the door. Well, I guess that's the game. Yep, we beat Dong and Rumble one. All right. Thanks, Spike Chunsoft. Good game. Interesting. Things are getting very interesting indeed. <laughs> How are you still alive like and talking? I said at the beginning, I'm not a teddy bear. Right. I 
am Monokuma. And I am your... I am this school's... Headmaster. 